Hi all, welcome to my Hibernian FIFA 20 player rating video. I did this at FIFA 19 at the capture event, and um, FIFA 20 obviously coming upon us, and I thought might as well discuss um, my kind of reactions of these player ratings and kind of go on from what they were last year into the relation for this year because there's been some major changes across the board with Hibernian, and in all honesty, it could be um, quite useful, especially from a career mode perspective with some of these players. But all in all, it will be quite interesting to see how it all plays out come full release for those that enjoy Hibernian, whether it be for career mode, ultimate team or so forth. So Fraser Murray is our first card, he is up 9 on last year, he's got plus 5 on his pace, plus 6 on the shooting, plus 11 pass, plus 6 dribbling, plus 11 defending and f plus 3 physical. Would I say he's a good card? Obviously not going to be a standout card to excite us all, but I would honestly say if, you, if you're if you a um, Hibs fan, you're going to want the card regardless. Ollie Shaw, he is up three on his pace, same for shooting, same for passing, and one on dribbling, same for defending, and one down on his physical, which is quite interesting, yet he's been given a plus one overall. Um, but regardless, he will still hopefully prove useful for SBCs. Middleton, club change and on loan to us, he's up 7 pace, 2 shooting, um, 4 passing, then up 1 dribbling, then he is down on his defending of 1 and then down on his physical of 1, yet he, as I said, he's up 3 overall. Um, definitely a handy pace boost, helps that left side out. Lewis Stevenson, he is up 1 as well, I kind of predicted him going up 1 but I wasn't 100% convinced. But he's down one pace, um, down three on his shooting, which is quite hilarious. Then up one on his passing, then dribbling is the same, defending up one, and physical is up two. Definitely room for manoeuvre. Tom James, he is up one himself, with a major, major shooting boost of plus ten, which is kind of the most notable change here. Plus one on his passing, plus one on his dribbling. One down on his defending, despite obviously being a defender, you'd think it would maybe stay about the same, and then plus two on his physical. Pace is still the same, but at least he is a silver. Sleefka is up three on last year. He has been given quite a bit of um, changes across the board. He's up seven on his pace, plus six on his shooting, plus three on his passing. Same for um, dribbling. Defending is up at 11, and then his physical is up nine which is kind of mental and he's only up three so definitely a pretty baffling one there but we will take it for what it's worth but it's nice upgrades regardless for him doig is up one on his pace four shooting is up six passing is up uh, plus two on his dribbling same for defending and up two on his physical with an overall boost of plus one so we're starting to see improvements. What I would say is there's not many the good thing is there's not many bronzes to work with, so it's quite a silver based squad. Adam Jackson, down one overall, down one on his pass, uh, sorry his pace. His shooting's went up one, which is an odd one. Same for passing, same for dribbling, down one on his defending and down three on his physical to give you an all told um and up oh, um, downgrade, but it is what it is. Whitaker is down two to a 66, but he is now a rare. Down two on his passing, eh, sorry, his pace. Um, his shooting is down, um, sorry, his shooting's up one actually. Then up two on his passing. It's just a weird, weird way it's went. Physical's down one, defending is down one, and dribbling is still the same. All told, a minus two. Dan McGregor, he is up one, funnily enough, but he's been given a major downgrade of about 23 pace. Like last year, he did not have a card, but he's went from about 68, 69 pace to like 45. It makes no sense. But other than that, he's pretty much stayed the same around the board. Um, no major changes. I kind of wish I had last year's card to kind of work from, but it wasn't too much else that was standing out. Naismith, he is staying a um, the same, but obviously just a club change um, on loan to us. And funnily enough, his only change is plus two on his defending. That is all, yet he stays the same. And you would think for a defender that might squeeze enough to push him to a 67. Boyle, he has been given an upgrade of plus one and a position. Um, but um, 
obviously his nation changes obviously Australian these days but he's been given downgrade on one of his um, shooting up to and passing dribbling up one defending up 12 which is a very very crazy um, boost and then plus two on his um, physical despite being injured quite considerable Porteous is the most notable upgrade he is up eight on last year he has went up five on his pace three on his shooting one on his passing then up five on his um, dribbling his defending is up six and his physical is up 13 could he have room for going up more over the year? Potentially, but it will be interesting. David Gray is a very crazy upgrade. I had him going up one, like one or two. I didn't expect this, of a plus four. He's up three on physical, five on his defending, three on his dribbling. Then his passing is up three. Shooting is the same and pace is the same, but all told, plus four. But saying that, his first half of the season form was very, very impressive. The only problem is nowadays he is injury prone. So that may be something you see on him. Then Vela, pretty much the same card, the only ch real changes are he is down 2 on his pace, then 1 on his shooting, 1 on his passing, dribbling is down 2, dribbling, uh, sorry, defending is up 2, and physical is still the same, so he's still a 60 rate, but he has a position changed from a camp to a centre mid. Then Newell, he is up 1, he is down 1 on his pace, which is interesting, shooting and passing is the same, dribbling is the same, Defending is the same and physical is the same, yet he has been able to master up a plus one upgrade. That makes no sense. Um, I cannot understand that one. Down one, yet he's up one. That makes no sense, but it is what it is. Hanlon is a 68 rated, still down two on his pace. Same for shooting, passing is up one. Dribbling is up seven, which I genuinely do not get. Defending is the same, physical down one. But. I don't make the cards, It's but plus 7 is quite a healthy boost. Stevie Mallon up 4 on his original card, his pace is down 1, his shooting is up 3, passing is up 5, dribbling is up 3, defending is the same, and physical is the same, yet he's mustered a plus 4. But I can kind of understand with pass and dribbling kind of needing the boosts, but definitely an uh, interesting one regardless. Maxwell is down 1, the Loney from Preston. He has pretty much just downgrades all across the board, minus one on his diving, one on his handling. Kicking is down one, reflexes down one, speed is funnel enough up six, which makes no sense, and positioning is down one. So collectively, even though he's been given an overall downgrade of one, he's got upgrades across one major upgrade around the board. Scott Allen, he's obviously didn't play at all last year, but he's been playing for Hibs this season, and yet he's mastered a plus three upgrade. His shooting is up 8, his pace is the same, passing is up 4, dribbling is up 2, defending is down, um, sorry, defending is up 1, and physical is up 2. Marciano is a great upgrade of plus 5, I actually predicted about a 68, 69 for this card. But he's up 6 when he's diving, handling is up 6, kicking is up 3, reflex is up 5, speed is up 4, and positioning is up 4. Definitely a very good boost and probably a much more usable card for the league. Um, is really goalie definitely showing his worth and definitely deserving. Daryl Horgan is up two to a seventy. His pace is the same. Shooting's up two. Passing is up four. Dribbling is up three. Defending is the same and physical is the same. So definitely an interesting one. And looking at it, he's been given a position change as well from left mid to right mid. Not the most ideal. And in Canberra's case, he is up 3 overall, plus 4 on his pace, 4 on his shooting, 15 passing, which is kind of crazy, but is what it is, 9 dribbling, 8 defending, he's gone up by, and 1 on his physical. I'm assuming the 8 on defending is due to the head and accuracy. But definitely some nice upgrades in terms of players. I think you'd say, in a sense, maybe because of what Canberra's been given a boost, you'd think, why is he not a higher raid? But I can kind of understand the reasoning of it. But it still looks a nice little card. The upgrades that they see, and obviously it's only gave him in the end a plus three overall so in terms of everything when you kind of look at the upgrades i would say canberra i'm surprised is not actually higher rated now porteous with potential in career mode i think would go up quite nicely he could be one of these players you could probably get into the 80 plus rates and um, same for maybe someone like murray and um, with a bit of work as well but for me i would say that defense is obviously the one that's seen a bit of improvement um, an intrigue across the board 
midfield of course has had it as well so in all in all I would say with the, how the team played last year it's had its upgrades to help but never going to please anyone regardless as I said from the review folks what do you think of the ratings take it easy all thanks for watching and I will catch you all later